Welcome back, welcome back. We are continuing right where we left off. And I'm going to get my phone ready so that when I get this encounter, if I do decide to add it to the team, I will have the nickname ready. Uh, the big question of the last episode was how to manage the legendary encounters like Giratina. And it seems like everyone's pretty much on the same page. Um, some people are saying just use, like, screw it, use them. If, wow, that was an instant encounter. It's a Cherubi. Okay. Okay. Hmm. But let me finish the thought first while I think about Cherubi. Hmm. Kind of like pure grass types. Kind of want a pure grass type. I don't think I can, in my right mind, swap out. The only thing I might swap out would be Kabutops. It would make sense to replace this with Kabo Kabutops with this. It would make sense. As badly as I don't want to, it would make a lot of sense. <sighs> mm. It's a ground resist, which is extremely good, considering I have six Pokemon. Four of them are weak to ground, and one is neutral, and one's immune. It makes me very nervous. And it makes me want to take this and replace Kabutops. It would be Kabutops or Tyrantrum, but since Kabutops is rock and water, and I have rock and water on the team, I think it makes the most sense to swap Kabutops for it. I'm sorry, Soup. I'm sorry. I hate to do it, but I think it's just the best play. I'm honestly not too... The only reason I'm good against Grass is because I have Sap Zipper on two Mons. But I'm going to replace Soup. It's I know it's a Cherubi. I'm sorry. Cherum isn't the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. It's saved my behind quite a few times in playthrough. I keep saying I'm going to finish a thought. But... The general consensus... Was... If it's like a legendary, like Giratina, Mewtwo. You know, like cover art like legit legendaries don't use them just re-encounter but if it's something like a like a mythical like a like Uxi or you know like Articuno things like that like they're good mons but they're not like super busted it's okay to use so I think that's what I'm gonna that's gonna be the kind of mindset I use the super super legendaries like Arceus you know like Xerneas all these like super legendaries I won't use those but things like Zapdos, maybe I will, or something like that, you know? Things that aren't as broken, even though that Zapdos is pretty broken. All right, that's going to be the, the decision on that. Um, the name I'm going to use for this is... Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Forget record. <laughs> Lock, shock, and barrel. Hmm. Old Gus Gus. Hmm. A lot of good suggestions on there. What do we got? What do we got for this one? Bandit, Ashen. Pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin kind of fits this. Oh, pumpkin kind of fits this. I just used one of Nathan's nicknames in the last one, but it's kind of fitting. For Halloween and... Actually, Florent, he put Zombie. Zombie for Halloween. What does his name is Zombie? My name is Zombie. Why not? Why not? I'm sorry, Kabutops, you are being replaced with a Cherub. Uh, Cheruby. Which is kind of insane to think about, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. It might not stay on the team permanently. If I find a better Grass type, I might replace it. If I found a Poison Grass type, I'd be loving it. But I haven't found one of those yet. Alright, so while I'm going back... Let me get back on the bike. I did all the battles here, so it shouldn't take too, too long to get back to... Um, ooh. What is this? What is this? Oh, this area. I went over there already. Why do I feel like that looked like a different area? I don't know. Oh, the sandstorm's vicious. I can't go that way. Oh, this is a whole other area. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I can't go back to the PC. 
All right. Um, as of right now, I'm going to keep the team as is. Uh, Cherby's not on the squad. Uh, as soon as I get to the PC in the next city, I'll replace it. As soon as I get to the city, I'll replace it. I'll just try not to use uh, Kabutops for now. That's all. Let's go, France. Um, let's go for a Metal Claw. Hmm. Good damage. That's good damage. I want to see what this Charby's uh, ability is going to be. It might have Leech Seed. Leech Seed is, without a doubt, one of the best <laughs> uh, moves to have in a randomized Nuzlocke. Because the amount of times you can just lead with something with Leech Seed, or like something like a Dialga comes out, it's like you could just send out the Leech Seeder and just get that Leech Seed off, live one hit, and then you can heal spam or like just switch around to actually survive a very unsurvivable situation. So I'm a big fan of Leech Seed. Big fan, big fan. Okay, let me get off the bike so I can kind of avoid these battles. Because I don't want to do as many of these battles as possible until I get to the PC. I could have had a squirrel. Oh. Oh, I would have loved a squirrel. What the? That scared me, actually. I did not know that was going to happen. I'll be completely honest. I did not know that was going to happen. Fan Sage. Get a home claws first. Metal claws 95% accurate, and I feel like I miss it 95% of the time. So home claws is really good to increase my accuracy. Do not paralyze me. I should just expect it at this point. I should just expect it. Critical hit. Mm -mm. Gorgeist. Let's go Massive Toe. Massive Toe. I love that name. I still think it's so good. You guys like my ghost in the background, by the way? I was gonna... Wow, the light's not on for some reason. Did I not put it on earlier? Did I just, like, completely forget about it? I think I did. Flurry Seed. Give me that sap. Super boost, baby. Plus one attack. Hopefully he knocks us out now. Yep. Amazing. Tap Stepper is so good on this. Insanely good. Let's learn Protect? No, thank you. No, thank you. Lipard. Let's go Spaghetti. Like, Volcarona is an insanely good Pokemon, but its ability is really not good. So, it makes it kind of more balanced, which is kind of what I was going to lean towards with the, uh, when it comes to Legendaries. You know, it's not like an Articuno. Articuno, really bad typing. Ice flying is not good. It's pretty good offensively, but its moveset's not the greatest. It gets like Ice Beam at some point and like Gust. Like it doesn't really have a great moveset. Really? But say its ability is like, I don't know, Dry Skin or something like that, where it makes it weak to fire, even though it already is weak to fire, but it makes it immune to water. It's kind of like a cool combo, but... Oof. Should have healed. I should have healed. Um, you know, but if it, if I do end up catching it and I look and it has like, I, I heard Ben uh, Benny said he had a thick fat Articuno, which makes it resist fire and ice, and it's neutral to ice and uh weak to fire normally. So that's actually a really good ability. Makes it a really bulky, bulky Pokemon. Nice. Still extremely weak to rock, but... You know, just, I think I'll just have to take it into account. You know, when it comes to some of the other situations of... Do I keep it or not? And if it ends up being super broken, at some point I'll probably replace it when something suitable comes up. Like Steelix. Steelix was doing way too good. It was way too strong. It was helping me out so, so much. And... I just, when I saw the Excadrill, I was like... It's a lower level, because Steelix was pretty high leveled. Electrify. Um, so I figured it's kind of like a reset to kind of rebalance the team. All right, let's navigate around you. Okay. Go this way. There we go. 
All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, the route is still 113, and now we're in Fall Arbor Town. Now let's get Cherubi on the squad. Oh, come on, lady. You're in the way. You're in the way. You're in the way. You're in the way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was really just nervous about ground types, though, against my team. It really could have been bad. If I felt like a guard chomp or something like that, I could have been in shambles. So I think having Charm's really going to be beneficial. Organized boxes. Charm with a regenerator. Oh, if only it kept it when it evolved. Oh, it's going to be so good. Regenerator is such a good ability. For those who don't know what it is, when you switch out. So say I have Char uh, Charbian and he has, he takes 50%. So he's at half health. I switch out and I think he gets a third of his health back. So he'll be at like, you know, 80% or something like that. When I switch him out, it's really cool. Really cool. I got to check this uh store too. Mm -mm -mm. Professor Cosmo got abducted. Oh no. We have to do something. I'm gonna head on right away. Let's head up to Meteor Falls. I'm counting on you. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna check the shop real quick. Let's check the store. What do you got for me? Red shard on. Ugh, come on, man. Come on. Do I have potions? Am I kind of stocked up? Eight. Hmm. I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get some more. Uh, can I get an encounter in this city? I don't think I can. No. Route 114, though. Can get an encounter. I could fish. This guy gives me a TM. Double edge. Ugh. Do I fish again? Or do I go for grass? I think there's grass further down this way. Let's go for the grass. All right. Let's see what it is. Let's see what our encounter is for Route 114. Oh, man. Oh, this is tough. This is kind of tough. Ice is so good offensively. This thing has like icy wind. It gets ice beam at some point. It doesn't have the snow, the hail. So no, you know, snow warning, which I kind of prefer. But if I'm going to add this to the team, who would I be replacing? That's the real issue because it's a fighting weakness. Which I already have Excadrill and Tyrantrum weak to fighting. But I got Volcarona and Pelipper resisting plus Lancherby normal. Uh, neutral. Steel weakness. But I can deal with Steel types every day of the week. Steel types aren't an issue. Um, mm, if there's someone I could replace, who would it be? I hate to say it, but it might be Plusl. I think it's going to have to be Plusl. I'm sorry. Gabe, you've been around for a long time on this team. You've been doing great. It's just I have it has weak armor. Oh, ooh, 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 this changes things. This changes things. I don't know if I like weak armor or not. Oh, I don't know if I like weak armor. Ooh. I was thinking, because Plusl has Sap Sipper, but so does Pelipper. And, you know, all Plusl does is resist electric and flying. And I resist those with Tyrantrum. It's weak to ground like everything else. Vanellix is not going to be a defensive Pokemon. It's definitely going to be an offensive Pokemon. Do I want it? Do I want it? Hmm... Nope. <laughs> Double crit, baby. We are not getting it. All right. Well, that answers that. I guess it's not adding, not joining the team. All right. Uh, Meteor Falls. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? I feel like it's... I feel like it is. I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Um, go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go this way. 
Meteor Falls, that could be a new one. That's a new encounter. It is. <gasps> the Darmanitan Zen mode. Look at that. Now that's a cool encounter. That would have been a good mon. I think I heard a cat behind me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sitting right in the beanbag. Didn't even see it. Didn't even notice. A swaddle. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's going to spaghetti. Ooh, big dodge. We're so good. We're so good at this game. Big damage. Big damage. Encounter rate is so annoying. Vanillix. Could have been a good bond. Could have been a good bond. I really don't like the ability weak armor. Once I seen that, I was kind of like, eh. The rapid spin only killed because it was a crit, but I risked it completely because I just wasn't that interested in keeping it. You guys are taking the pressure right up. Oh my god, this game cheats. This game cheats. This kid knew which way I was going. Fisher Robinson's a rampant ash. Mm -mm 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 um, let's send out. I prefer Yoshi. I need Yoshi to learn a better move. The fact that it only has head smash as a stab attack really bothers me. It takes so much recoil. Critical hit. Wow. Water pulse. Oof, big damage. Flame charge. That speed boost. I love the move flame charge. It's one of my favorite moves. It's just a solid, like, damaging move, and it gets you a speed boost, which is like, such a good thing. So good. About to send out a Rotom. Let's go into Zombie. Let's try to get Zombie some experience. What do I do with Rotom? Well, it depends which one, I guess, right? Rotom Wash. This is a perfect lead. Let's go for the Leech Seed. Double team. If we land this, we're good. I have Magical Leaf, which you can't miss. So that's amazing. And we land the Leech Seed. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Imagine this thing at Sap Sipper. Uproar. How much is that doing? About half. Big damage. And we get the Leech Seed Recovery. So we live another Uproar. And knock it out with Magic Leaf. Perfect. Kind of risked the biscuit there, but it's okay. It's the name of the game, baby. It's the name of the game. Way too strong. That's me, baby. Items in this? Yeah. Pincerite. Give me a pincer, baby. Let's get a pincer. How about in here? Nothing. All right, let's avoid. Ooh, item, item, item. Give me the item. Leftovers. I need leftovers. I need good items. All right, let's avoid you. Do, do, do. Oh, this guy sniped me. Gosh dang. Leader Max, send out a homage. Ooh, ooh that was a cool sound. The cry? I was like, sink. Go for dig. Shadow sneak. Ouch. That hurt. Bop. Sturdy is an ability that would be good to have on some Pokemon. Nidorino, we staying in, baby. We staying in, baby. Hmm. Levitate on like an electric Pokemon. Would be obviously insanely good as well. <sighs> Alright. Is there an item in the middle of this? Nope. Oh, I don't want to battle this guy. I'm trying to avoid as many battles as I can. Uh, I want to lead with Zombie though. So let me heal him up. This might be a longer episode. We're already at almost 20 minutes. And. 
I want to potentially do an important battle. Because I think there's an important battle in here, if I remember correctly. One of the admin. You just got since I did Okay. Ice type move would be really good right now. Uh, let's go for the leech seed. Twister. No flinch. That's good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Can't really do anything to this, so I gotta switch out. Um, let's go. Let's go, France. He resists dragon, and he's still pretty strong. Slam! Oh, we definitely resist that. And he's still a little behind on level, so I gotta catch him up. His trainers are pretty high level, too. Dragon Rage. Whew. Better hope this KOs. Yep. Dragon Rage is so annoying. It's another reason why I switched out in Zombie, because I was worried about Dragon Rage, and I wanted to take me out, like, suddenly. All right, Meteor Falls, new encounter. Right up here. Shookaberry. It's not bad. My very weak to ground team. Let's see what it is. Just got the pincer right. Okay. 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 This is a this is a decision to be made. Um. Okay. Let's close this. I need to see what is pincer's level of move six. I gotta be careful in this battle. He's not gonna have um, aerial eight. That's what he has, right? The one that makes normal attacks uh, flying. So I got to keep that in mind. That's a very important change. Uh, level 19. He'll have fighting moves out the wazoo. Okay. A seismic toss, which is kind of a pain. Go massive toe. If I add this to the squad, who do I swap out? <sighs> Mega pincer. So good. He gets X Scissor at 33. And he gets no flying moves. But I might be able to teach I'll be able to teach him like fly when I get it. Which is obviously will be getting gonna be good. Uh Mega Pincer is base 155 attack, 120 defense, 105 speed. That is absurd. That is absurd. Let's go for a water pulse. Oh, I love using different. I never have used the Mega Pincer before, so I really want to use it. I just who am I replacing? Volcarona. Uh, Volcarona, uh, my fire type, but. I mean, I got Tyrantrum. I got Pelipper for fire types. It's another four times rock weakness. I might as well swap them, right? I might as well swap them. I really wish it had a better moveset, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to put a Mega Pincer card art. I'm just going to go for a regular Pincer one. Classic. Nickname to the Pincer? Yes. Okay, let's pull up. Pull up the YouTube. Uh, we got a new viewer in here. Hold on, what was his? Where is his name? Helmo on the YouTube. Said he's re recently come through. He's from Amsterdam. He's been watching all my playthroughs, so I'm gonna do a name for him. It's, well, you might have to explain how it's pronounced. It's E L L O E, like L O. I think it's like L O. That's how I'm gonna say it. So if you're watching this series and you see this episode, tell me how it's pronounced so I don't mess it up too much for you. Um, 
Ooh. I gotta get back to put him on the team. Hmm. Okay. It's one thing I don't like about this game. One of the things they added into Sun and Moon that I thought was an amazing addition is you can add them to your team once you catch them immediately, so you don't have to worry about doing this whole spiel every single time you catch a new Pokemon. Um, and now I gotta do this. Oh, I couldn't avoid this double battle. Oh, good, good, good. That's not that bad, though. That's not that bad. Not that bad. Uh, let's see what the ability is on this Mega Pinsir. I made the, I have to make I make the decisions before seeing the abilities. Uh, just to add a little spice to it, you know, make it a little more, a little more risky to make a swap on the team. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, Mega Pinsir is so dope. Volcarone is so cool too, and I probably am like overlooking a weakness I'm adding to my team, or a resist I'm getting rid of, but it's okay. Bug flying, iron barbs. Oh my god, and he has such good defense. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I'm down for it. I'm down to clown. Alright, I'm gonna keep zombie out front because I do want to get zombie evolved. Yeah, let's get on this. Um, there's like a guy mining in there or something, right? I wonder if there's a encounter I can get in there. I think there probably is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to battle these guys. I'm not going to go do the important battle. I'm going to do a couple of these battles. I'm trying to get Charm, uh, Charby evolved. Because I think, if I remember correctly, it's like level 24 or something like that. It's like 25. I'm not too far off from that. Um. But yeah, I'll do some grinding and get the evolution. I think I'm just going to do these. And I'll do a quick edit and show you guys the evolution. Because this is gonna, just going to be some kind of time-wasting battle so i'm just gonna get, skip through and get to the evolution okay okay we uh just battled a couple trainers made some progress not progress but got them leveled up and found some greninjas in the grass over here uh, in the city so this is the last one i'm gonna have to take out and i'll be good we will have the evolution for cherubi battled a couple of trainers so next time i go down uh, to continue the game i should be able to fly through pretty easily so level 25 Evolution, baby. Let's see zombie. Let's see what he turns into. I mean, I obviously know it's gonna turn into, but let's see what his ability is gonna be. That's what I'm curious for. That's what I'm looking forward to. You want to learn pedal dance? No. You get locked into pedal dance. I don't like that. All right. Moment of truth. Aroma Veil protects allies from attacks that limit their move choices. That's so bad. So I can't be taunted. Or encored. Well, that's unfortunate. And I did realize while I was grinding, because I saw Vanilla again, I was like, I have no ice resist now. Uh, Pelipper, Plusle, Excadrill are all neutral. But Tyrantrum, Pinsir, and Charm are all weak, which is a little bit of a problem. So that is something I lost when I got rid of Volcarona that I realized pretty quickly as soon as I saw Vanilla, uh, Vanillix. So might have to swap something out for an Ice Resist at some point. But for now, thank you guys for coming through. I just want to show you guys that evolution before we wrapped up, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.